Hi, everybody. I'm Andy Bryce with Red Iron Football. I'm here at Covington High School. I'm joined by my friend, Coach Greg Salter. Coach, how are you guys looking? How do you guys you think you guys did this summer, this spring? I'm, I was very pleased. You know, we, we, we've got a good, talented group of kids coming back with a lot of experience. So, uh, you, you know, you really hope to see, you know, what we saw tonight. Some big plays on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, improvement from last year, some things that we did not do well that we really focus on this offseason, uh, being able to, you know, stop the run, being able to throw and catch the football, being more consistent in those uh, those aspects of the game. And, and I think we saw a lot of, you know, flashes of that and saw some great individual performances. So we're excited moving into the summer. You know, when I think of Covington High School, I think of defense, you know, because you guys had some, a lot of good defensive players come through this mm -hmm. program, of, you know, recently. Right. I, I, what I saw here, you have an offense this year. Yeah, we, we, we you know, this, this group on offense, uh, a lot of these guys, we got, you know, a few of these guys played as freshmen, and then the other handful of them all started as sophomores. So they're coming in two and three year starters. Um, very talented group of kids, you know, easy group of kids to work with. Uh, again, really excited about the potential that they have. And uh, yeah, and, and, and we plan on still continuing to be tough on D, but to be a balanced team, like, you can't win a championship without being good on both sides of the football. So that's what we're, you know, we're doing our best to put ourselves in a position to be able to compete with anyone. Well, I'll tell you quarterbacks, all three quarterbacks look really good, mm -hmm. but your number three, I think it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, he, he can throw that ball on a rope. Yeah, he does a really good job, put in a lot of time in the off season. Uh, you know, he travels around, does a seven on seven circuit, um, very poised in the pocket, very accurate, um, has a great grasp of the offense and a good understanding of the game. Um, you know, Coakley is, is a great athlete. He has all the tools to be to be a great quarterback, and he's also playing some safety for us, which is going to benefit not only him individually, but us as a team. And then uh, Caden Heck is, is a sophomore, going to be a junior, had a great year for us in, uh, in JV, and uh, he's one of those kids, he's a great combination of the both. Accurate passer, has, you know, has the ability to run the football, tough as nails so um, yeah we're very very blessed at that position right now you know you mentioned his name and it, it just dawned on me I actually watched Coakley play this this spring yeah yeah with a running by you right right so I, mm -hmm. I, I had interviewed him I, it just dawned on me LZ like, yeah LZ yeah LZ yes yeah, sir yeah. so so yeah so he, he looked really good mm -hmm. uh, all spring long so obviously he's gonna look good yeah. out here right now and, and and the best thing about the, the the quarterback room is they're 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 each other's biggest fans mm -hmm. you know they, they really do support each other which makes because it's not easy to figure out which one to run out on the field every week and uh, but they're also supportive they make that they take that burden off of us by the by, by their attitude and, and and their you know the way they care about one another and care about the success of each other and then you have a, a young man justin chapman i've been mm -hmm. watching him he showed up my camp back in uh february mm -hmm. he ran a low four five forty on a grass wet field at woodlawn uh so i know he's faster than that out yeah. here he just, he just yeah he's he look, he's he's a very very instinctive player he's going to be a you know four-year starter for us um you know has great speed great hands uh has the ability to you know to, to run the ball out of the back field to catch it you know in the slot to line up wide and create mismatches on the outside um you know he's he's a kid that can can do it all and between him and uh you know and, and, and while he was out last year david harris had a huge year for us another you know just special talent and then the young kid uh marcus uh sorry marcus was his his brother and his father uh Ky kylan williams uh has a ton of potential he's going to be a sophomore and got some quality work back there Corey tony was our leading rusher for jv so another position that we're just really deep, really blessed at. And uh, yeah, with, uh, with Harris and, and, and Chapman as those senior leaders in that you know, running back room, again, just, just uh, we're lucky to have them all. Speaking of running backs, yes, uh, I was talking to one of, your, uh, one of the local college coaches here mm -hmm. that's here today, and uh, we were talking about your loaded backfield. You guys got yeah. a, a <laughs> yeah. lot, of, lot of running yeah, backs. Yeah, uh, wish, wish we had two or three footballs to be able to give out every play. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and that's something else that we've, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get those guys to, you know, and, they, and they've done a really good job with it. You know, knowing that there is only one football and the success of the team, you know, their role in this team and, and uh, again, supporting one another and not caring and who gets in the end zone, just that the Lions get in the end zone, it's going to be key to the success we have in the future. And they've they've really been a good, you know, fans of each other. So hopefully that will continue. They'll continue to push each other and, and to bring out the best in one another. Let's move on to the defensive side of the ball, Coach. You had number 28. He was he was mm -hmm. a man. Yeah, Con it. Connor Ferris uh, started every game for us last year, uh, you know, an outside backer. Um, he's put on some weight. He's, you know, worked hard this offseason. Another kid that's just really instinctive player um, 
and, and one of those kids, even when he makes a misstep, a mistake, you know, a false step somewhere, goes inside of a block when he should, usually they end up being his best plays. Uh, <laughs> he just has a knack for finding the football, and you know, he's he's one of those kids, you know. You, you can't coach those instincts. Uh, you can put them in the right spot. You can teach them all the technique you want, but uh, to be able to snuff it out and to be able to, you know, go and throw your body around, um, yeah, he's he's going to have a good year for us, I believe. And then go. And what about number seven and number two, coach? So seven is David Harris. That's the running back. Um, okay. Seven is going to be playing. Uh, He's going to be playing both ways. He's going to be playing outside backer, and he was in there for mm -hmm. maybe the last two or three series. And just in those few series, really, really made a difference and, and made some plays. Again, he's just a great football player. Uh, number two is Jeremy Elzey, uh, the quarterback's younger brother. He started for us as a sophomore. Um, you know, has had an, another one that had a really good off season. You know, he's uh, he's he's grown a couple inches. You know, he was just a baby last year out there. Uh, you know, finding his way and uh, still made a lot of good plays for us. But he has gotten taller. He's gotten faster. He's gotten stronger. And uh, you know, he's he, and, and with that comes confidence. And he's playing a lot more confident out there. So yeah, excited about him as well. Well, now that school is almost over with, I think next week is the kids' last week. Yes, sir. Um, so. You guys are going to start your, your workout programs this summer, and then you got 707s and trench mm -hmm. wars. Yeah, we'll start. Uh, yeah, we'll start uh, May 22nd. So we'll give them off next week. They finish up exams, and we'll be be at it Monday morning. You know, bright and early, 8 a.m. and uh, and start the grind. That's the that's the tough part. You know, I always tell them, you know, champions are made made in the summer. You can either, you know, you can either buy into it or. You can just accept the fact that this is how good you want to be. So uh, hopefully, again, with an experienced group, these guys are ready to work, you know, because it's not easy. That's why everybody doesn't play football. Summer workouts are rough, and they're supposed to be. Yeah, if it was uh, easy, everybody would be doing but, it, right? But that is, that is, you know, instrumental to the success of any program. Mm -hmm. so. Well, Coach, going into the fall, what is your expectations for this program uh, go, right now? Mm -hmm. Well, my expectations as far as on the field, uh, they never change. It's to be able to compete with whoever we step on the field with um, you know we want we want you know people have to earn if you know if, 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 if you're going to come out on top on the scoreboard you know we want you to, to have to earn it you know and, and we feel like that we have the potential to be able to step out there and compete with anybody we play with and if, it, if we're playing well if we're playing smart if we're playing selflessly um, we're going to have a lot of success on the scoreboard you know so we're, we're, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a going to be a fun year. It's going to be a fun year. Well, I look forward to coming over and covering you guys. Good. We like having you, man. <laughs> Love having you. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Coach, on this show. So I'm Andy Bryce with Gridiron Football. Thanks for watching. And again, our camp is going to be May 27th at North Shore High School in Slidell. Thanks for watching, people.